is get you one of these get you one of these they're so cool i got it on amazon so hey guess what i'm gonna do i'm going to show you guys my amazon store not now but later later on i have to put the rest of my stuff on it i have a lot of like amazing goodies and i'll tell you guys like what works and what really doesn't work but <clears throat> that's like a car humidifier i have lemongrass essential oil y'all makes my ride so like <sighs> so calm especially when like i have the air on i can smell the lemongrass it's just so peaceful it smells like i'm at a spa um but i have this word for you <laughs> I was driving and I heard God say they want you back they want you back then when he whispered that I started to hear the, the song I want you back dun, 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 dun. the battery boys <laughs> so anyway anywho um, and I have coffee not coffee sir tea and it's not from Starbucks I have my own little mini bar at home now so I have my like lattes but it's like a latte bar so i have my lattes my teas and all that so i'm going to show you guys all the stuff that i have like when i get home i'm gonna make a separate video on my vlog page and do that but sorry sorry for cutting cutting it off but yeah he said um thank you he said they want you back but then i got the rest of the word as i was driving and i just want to say like you'll know this word is for you because man like it's gonna hit your spirit like <laughs> i just want to say listen child you have somebody you are living in someone's head rent free. You are living in a couple heads rent free, okay? Not even a couple, maybe three or four heads rent free, okay? Um, it's a good thing, but in a, in a sense, it's not a good thing for some. And let me tell you why. Because the way that God showed it to me, somebody is extremely pressed. You have someone pressed. Because here's the thing. Someone did a love spell. It's like a hypnosis type of spell. Someone did a love spell. And the love spell didn't work on your partner. Did not work on your partner, okay? It may have worked in the beginning because they were not on the walk. They were not right with God. When you're not right with God and you're not on the walk, spells will work. Witchcraft will work on you. Because you may think it's normal. You may think, oh, I, I really love this person. I can't stop thinking about them. I want to give them the world. I want to do everything for them. I want to buy them bags and shoes. I want to buy them a car. I want to buy them a house. I want to do this. I want to do that. And then you don't even realize that you're actually under hypnosis. You don't understand that someone put something in your food. Someone buried you, tied your photo with their photo and buried you somewhere. Like, you, you know, put you in a jar. Like, you, didn't, you don't know all that, right? So it's when you start walking with God and you start getting your mind right. You're like, something is off. Something ain't right. Because when a person does a love spell, they have to continue renewing the love spell. It's a contract. They got to keep renewing the contract. It doesn't last long. Once it's, What they do is once it starts to wear off and they notice it's wearing off, they redo it. But if you, don't you guys ever see that the people that do love spells, don't you notice that the reason why they do love spells is to make the person obsess over them. Is to make the person fall for them. Want to be with them. Want to stay with them. Usually out of greed, out of control, etc., etc. Right? That's why they do it. But what ends up happening is once the love spell wears off and backfires, the partner will become aggressive. They'll start to hate the person that did the love spell. They'll start to hate the person. They'll start to... Um, I forgot that word. Oh man, I forgot that word. They'll basically they'll dislike the person. Okay, they start to scorn the person to love spell. It's like they start to really dislike the person, and sometimes it will be verbal, physical. It gets really bad. Love spells are dangerous. Okay, because once it wears off and the person realizes their true feelings about you, they will hate your guts. So what they have to do is the witches have to keep renewing these spells before it wears off because it can get dangerous. So they have to do it before it wears off, which is why they always use full moons and new moons, okay? I know it is because it's happened to my kingdom marriage in the past, okay? And God has revealed certain things to me, and I'm very wise. <laughs> not to my own horn, but I'm just keeping it real. Like, I'm just keeping it real. Like, I'm very wise. Like, one thing about me is when I go through things, I observe. I observe. I write stuff down. I analyze. I look at the patterns. I'm like, ah, oh, 
uh, that I pray about it and God says, yep, that's it. I'm like, okay. So anyways, someone's extremely pressed because, you know, the spell originally worked and now it doesn't work on your partner. So now your partner is realizing their true emotions for you because originally their true emotions were blocked because of the spell. But now that the spell has worn off, your partner has realized the true emotions that they have for you, true feelings they have for you. They're repenting. They give their life to God. My nose is itchy all of a sudden. They're repenting and giving their life to God. And now um, the woman that did the love spell is extremely pressed like she hates she literally hates her guts and she's stalking you and she's frustrated because the person loves you and nothing's working but now the person that originally fell for the love spell now that's worn off ain't working no more they want you back they want you back and they're figuring out a way to get you back they're going to stop at nothing and they're going to do whatever it is that God needs them to do to prove to you that they love you okay so anyways I love you guys I'll talk to you later I know I'm giddy today I call it the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit wine <laughs> the Holy Spirit wine Jesus turning water into wine <laughs> I don't know. Usually whenever I feel this like giddy and like this happy, I'm like, yeah, they're trying to attack me and God God put something up. Like God is making me extra giddy today, you know? So I always know like when they're trying something and God is literally like shielding me because I notice I'm extra happy. I'm like, okay, God is doing something. <laughs> Anyways, I love y'all. Make sure y'all get one of these. It's on Amazon, okay? Like the car humidifiers and all that. Love you guys. Bye. Well done, good and faithful servant. Thanks, son. I'm telling you. I love you.